with you. All you know how to do is make other ponies feel bad. Not true, not true. I can do lots of other things. Like what? Well, like, like, like farming. Farming? Yeah, my cousin Corny lives on a farm. I love farming. I could even take you there to prove it. Gee, sounds like more fun than the picnic. I'll ask my parents if I can go. Uh, great. Uh, I'll call Corny as soon as I uh, get home. Are you okay? Fine. I just wanted some exercise. Ah, oh, he's ever so cute. Yep, that's Yorkie. He's gonna win a blue ribbon tomorrow at the fair. I, I, I brought it for Daisy. It was gonna be a surprise. Uh, for me? I can sew it up for you, Daisy, okay? Now? As soon as I can. Come on, Yorkie. You need your rest. Well, go back to sleep, Teddy. We'll clean up in the morning. Sweetheart, I... I just wanted to say that I, uh... Good night, Teddy. Thanks for keeping my secret about my teddy bear. Teddy! Cordy! You all right? Thanks to Teddy. He saved my life. Teddy, I thought you hated water. <laughs> Not anymore. You are wonderful, Teddy. Or have this great big brand new pig instead of that little dirty old teddy bear. Me love bear. Oh, bear fixed bear, my love. Uh, yours? Teddy? Why, uh, uh sure, Daisy. It, it's yours. Thank you. Me go see Cordy now. Okay, is your prize, pal? Oh, no, not a pig. I know, but if you trade me, you'll have a pig just like your brother's, only prettier. What do you say? Hmm... Okay. Now that was fair, wasn't it? Daisy's happy. And you got your teddy bear back. That makes everybody happy. Would you, uh, would you hold this for me, just till we get home? You know what I think, Teddy? I think you have a good side after all. Yeah, well... Just don't tell anybody, okay? Hey, Bridal! We're going yeah, on a That's great! I don't get it. She didn't follow any of our directions. Yeah, he was a real loser in my book. Oh, they don't look like losers to me. They look really, truly perfect. Today, we're going to study history and mechanics. Now, this is called a pulley. You use it to lift heavy weights. And <laughs> <laughs> I see a lot of little ponies who don't want recess today. That's better? Now then, as I was saying, this is called a pulley. Uh, oh, I, I feel a little faint. Are you okay, Miss Hackney? Uh, Starlight, will you come up here, please? Yes, Miss Hackney? Now, I want you to teach the class today. You do? Yes, just please. Someday it may come to pass You'll use the things you learn in class So learn your lessons well Learn your lessons well <laughs> Okay, if that's the way you want to be, I'm going to report everyone to Miss Hackney. Stop! Oh, I bet this is a wagon hitch from the Pony Settlers. Wow, a real piece of Ponyland history. And we found it. Let's take it back and show it to Miss Hackney. That's a good idea. We should be getting back anyway. Oh, it's so really, truly romantic that they're actually getting married. You can say that again. See this? Her engagement ring. Oh, that's the prettiest ever ring I've ever seen. So how can we help? I can't look! How'd that happen? Luck! Total luck! Clover's always lucky. Wait! 
isn't it really, truly bad luck for the bride if someone else wears a ring? Don't say that! Whenever I'm around Meadowlark, everything goes haywire! Oh. Look, you, you got a zillion flowers in the garden. I'll make you a beautiful bouquet. Great idea! Flowers from our very own garden! I bet Cheval will love it, too. Cheval! The wedding! Uh. <laughs> Today's just a total disaster! Patch, you and Sweetheart take what's left of the flowers back to the house, and don't tell my sister anything. The rest of you come with me. We're going to get the bottom of this thing with Chabelle. Hope we didn't ruin them completely. Well, if Mrs. Bloom sees them, she'll have a heart attack. Don't mind her. She always cries at weddings. It's a green-winged songbird. That's correct, Clover. Have you ever actually seen one? No, uh-uh. They used to be all over Ponyland, but nobody's seen one for years. How come? Where'd they all go? I don't think anyone really knows. Nobody knows if they even still exist. It's so weird that such a pretty bird would just vanish. It's so... so sad. Don't worry, sweetheart. I call this one Squirt Teddy with the hose! <laughs> Yeah. I hope you all lose tomorrow. Teddy! Teddy, wait! Hit it, Lancer. Go, Dream Team! Where's Clover? Clover's missing. Something's very, very wrong. But I already invited them. Then uninvite them. Mm -hmm. All Teddy wants is to be liked, to be part of things. He isn't really mean, he just does mean things for attention. Did you tell him not to come to the party? Well, no, not exactly. He made us lose. I know, but I really want him to come. Sweetheart, it's Teddy or us. You have to choose. Right! Him or us! Him or us! Well, if I have to make a choice, then... then nobody's coming! The party's off! <gasps> hey, what about my new hairdo? You sure you want to do this? No! But I have to. I'm not going to choose between my friends. I just wish there was something I could do. Ah. Whatever, and the one who's really getting hurt is Sweetheart. I thought she was your friend. I thought you liked her. I, I like her. We all like her. Then stop acting like babies and sign the treaty before it's no longer her birthday. Don't be so sad, sweetheart. I know you're upset, but I think the present I got you will cheer you up. It's in here? Close your eyes. Okay, open up. Surprise! Surprise! This is absolutely unbelievable. Let's party! Gee, I, I hadn't thought about that. Wait, I 
know. Let's call him Spot. Spot? Why not? He's full of them. <laughs> That's wonderful. Then you understand about the responsibility of taking care of the patient, don't you? Of course. We all do. We want to nurse him back to health. You can remove the splint in three days. And be sure he gets an ample supply of worms and insects to eat. Any problems, you call me. Okay? Ribbit. It's been five days and he still can't jump. Oh my gosh, we forgot to take off the splint. Now watch him jump. He's still not jumping. Maybe he forgot how. Let's teach him. Ribbit. Ribbit. Now that Spot can jump, we can't leave him alone anymore. I'd for sure take him home, but I have to babysit tonight. Spot! Look at you! What are you doing? Sweetheart, you've got to take him! He's going to put us out of business! It's a really good thing my babysitting job was cancelled. Now I can take care of you myself. <laughs> I love you too, Spot. <clears throat> oh, you must be exhausted. Good night. <clears throat> Sweet dreams. <laughs> 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 Now, would you like to explain the meaning of all this? Well, we, um, we found the frog, and he was really, truly hurt, and, and we nursed him back to health, and... I see. Well, I commend you for your good deed, but removing creatures from their natural habitat is not a very good idea. But... No but, sweetheart. I suggest you return the frog to where you found it and set him free. I guess you're right, Miss Hackney. We'll do it. <sighs> I'm really truly gonna miss him. We'll come back and see him, okay? Okie dokie. Secrets, secrets, what if someone knew my secrets, secrets, think of how embarrassed I would be if they knew the secret side of me. <sighs> Sorry, Bon Bon, I came up empty. Me too. Oh, what am I gonna do? Think positive, Bon Bon. Somebody will find your diary. What if it's the wrong somebody? Wait, I didn't look here. Come on, we'll be late for school. Hi, sweetheart. It's Bon Bon. Hi. Did you find your diary? Not exactly. Not exactly? Well, I, I was just wondering if you knew somebody who, who knew somebody who found something and, and wouldn't give it back. Did Teddy take your diary? Well, I, I can't say that. You mean it's not Teddy? Well, I, I can't say that either. Well, then what can you say? I've... I've said enough already. It's my problem, not yours. I'm sorry to bother you, sweetheart. Good night. It's no bother, Bon Bon. I'm your friend. Good night. I can't go on living like this. Yeah, uh, Teddy here. It's sweetheart. Well, uh, what's up, sweetheart? You. What if a giant volcano erupts spewing hot molten lava all over? I heard they sometimes even feed ponies to volcanoes. The volcano is erupting again. To save our home, we must give it something to eat. Mm, let's feed her to the volcano. No! <laughs> Volcanic corruptions are caused by seismic activity, not a volcano being hungry. Well... Sweetheart, we're on a stakeout. And this is all the stuff I got when I sent in for my super spy kit. We're waiting for the criminals to make a mistake. How do you know that they're the criminals? Look, that's the local printing plant, right? Yeah, they make all the school school books. Exactly. And anyone who makes school books can't be completely on the up and up. What? But I like school. 
school. See? They've even got you brainwashed. Oh, Lord, we're going to be heroes. We're going to have our pictures splashed all over the front pages. Uh, I'm not so sure. What's the matter with you? Don't try to talk your way out of this. I'm making a citizen's arrest. For what? For bribing this guy so you can dump that stuff in the river. What are you talking about? Nobody's dumping anything in the river. Can't you read? Well, actually, um, not very well. Um, what's it say, sweetheart? It says recycling plant. Uh-oh. So, did anyone find anything? No. Sorry, brother. Well, we're not giving up. We'll continue the search tomorrow. The posters are printed, and we can hang them up all over Ponyland. Hey, great, Bright Eyes. We're going to find that polluter. Yeah, right, yeah, let's go. Oh, yeah. And it's all our fault. Well, we're not the only ones, you know. Everyone in Ponyland has been careless. Then we gotta let them know what they're doing. And get everyone to pitch in and clean up. 